again we spent quite some time in explaining the flux core so let me read the two lines again similar to gas metal arc welding but the electrode is tubular and filled with flux continuous and automatic electrode feeding very economical process can weld a variety of joints right so this is flux core arc welding it is not as common you see shielded metal arc welding is the most common arc welding submerged arc welding machines are definitely there wherever a long length of welding is required and whenever a higher quality of welding is required mig or gmaw is also there flux core is not very common it is very good but uh, some companies if they prefer it they use it but in my uh, welding experience in different companies uh, uh, in the industry and so on i have not come across flux core generally but some companies do it so those were the basic methods in arc welding shielded metal arc welding submerged arc welding gas metal arc welding and flux core those were the basic now one or two very high level advanced methods electro gas welding electro gas welding so let us see used for welding vertical edges vertical right vertical welding vertical welding in one pass with pieces placed edge to edge so this is a huge advantage you see whenever there is a vertical welding you can't do submerged arc you can't do gas metal generally right and generally it is the welder right the welder holding it in his hand holding it in his hand and you see because of gravity the molten metal is flowing down you see if it is, he is doing vertical welding so it is very tough so what should be the general practice that he the welder starts from the lowest point from where the welding has to start if he starts on the top point right you see you have you have to join two pieces and they are vertically there if you start from the top the molten metal is flowing into the gap so it is very is dangerous so what you do you start from the bottom you have two metal pieces which are to be vertically welded there is the welding gap in between them right and you start welding from the bottom and you keep on welding above in the upward direction so that whatever falls is already solid on the but it is very tough and the welder the welder very quickly becomes tired you hold something very carefully keeping 45 degree angle keeping same distance moving with the constant velocity and you hold it vertically you will very quickly all your shoulders and everything will totally tire out so vertical welding vertical welding is a very uh, difficult thing so here if your company has this whole uh, complicated setup then it would be great right so once again used for welding vertical edges in one pass with pieces placed edge to edge requires a special equipment and weld metal is deposited into a weld cavity between the two pieces to be joined i will quickly re i mean this is the schematic of the whole setup right of the whole setup drive rolls so from here the electrode conduit the electrode wire and so on is going on so this is the weld line this is the welding line this is an oscillator this is an oscillator for pressure generating pressure and so on the welding gun is here the welding gun is here right the welding gun is here gas is coming gas is coming right water is there to cool the whole system water in water out water in water out and the welding wire is here the welding wire is here right and the inert gas right inert gas and so forth will be there fixed shoe movable shoe these are the electrodes on the other side and the primary shielding gas as they said supplementary shielding gas can also be there two types of shielding gases right and you weld and you keep on welding upwards right and so forth and you weld the whole length the whole vertical length in one go so i am not going into too much detail of that this is a more advanced version uh vertical welding uh, almost automatic and continuous for the whole length so this is big and the whole equipment is very costly in my uh industrial life i have worked in lots of places uh, uh general heavy engineering ship building yard uh heavy engineering for structures of uh, 
uh, houses and buildings and bridges and airports and so on. And now in the last 15 years or so, uh, working with the uh, petroleum industry and pipeline industry and so on, this is not general. I have not seen this myself, right? This electro gas welding. But in places, in factories, where a lot of vertical welding is to be done, right? They have to generate, I mean, produce hundreds of pieces or thousands of pieces of vertically welded, vertically welded things. Then they will, uh, I mean, send this, right? So uh, this much is enough. I keep on reminding you that in a basic course, we cover a lot of topics. So some topics which are very common in the engineering world, we explain in quite some detail, but the other topics, uh, we go in uh, some quick uh, coverage and so on. Electro slag welding, electro slag welding. So once again, uh, almost no explanation. The power source is there. The control panel is there. The wire reel, the wire reel is there. The wire feed drive, the wire feed drive is there. The oscillation, it can go up and down. The oscillation, this direction, that direction is also there. From the power source, the connection is there. From the power source, the other connection is to that side, right? So this is the electrode lead, electrode lead, and the consumable guide lead, the consumable guide. The workpiece is there, right? And the workpiece is grounded. And cooling water, water in, water out, cooling water is there. Molten slag, molten weld pool, retaining shoe, right? So once again, as I said, in vertical welding, you weld from the bottom up. So that is why the weld area is here and you are moving up. So here is the weld molten and on top of that is the solidified and you keep on going and so on. So every time the molten slag mixes, right, uh, with the weld metal. So it is complicated, but it is, uh, it is there. The slag is formed here and the slag will also interact with the molten weld metal, right? So again, if you are very much interested, then you can go to the internet, just type electro slag welding and you can get more details. You can even get videos of how it is done and so forth. But this is high level. Cost will be higher. The quality of course will be very good and it will handle again vertical welding in a very nice manner. Okay. With that, we have covered the biggest part category of electric arc welding, right? Arc welding, consumable electrode. In all of these, what you have done, you have done shielded metal arc welding, submerged arc welding, gas metal or metal inert gas welding, right? Flux core arc welding, uh, uh, this electro slag welding and the other uh, vertical electric welding. So all of this, the electrode keeps on melting and it is consumed, it is used up. The electrode keeps on melting and it is consumed. Now you are going into a new category, right? Remember casting, right? This is the consumable pattern, expendable pattern, and this is the permanent pattern. So here we are not using the word expendable and permanent. Here we are using the word consumable and non-consumable, which is good. The first in uh, the uh, non-consumable electric arc welding will be GTAW, gas tungsten arc welding, right? Very similar name, gas metal arc welding, but here gas tungsten arc welding, gas tungsten arc welding. And remember, this time the electrode is not being used up, okay? So a filler metal is supplied from a filler wire this time. The electrode is not the filler wire. In all the previous arc weldings, the electrode used to melt and become the filler wire. Here a filler wire will be separate, the tungsten electrode will be separate. Right? Composition of the filler metals must be similar to metals that are to be welded, just like we have said earlier, that in the electrode earlier also, steel with steel and so on. So filler wire is the filler wire this time, it is not called the electrode, yes that's the thing. Earlier the electrode was the filler wire, right? This time it is called the filler wire. So the filler metal must be very similar to the base metal. The cost of the inert gas is expensive, but provides a high quality and good surface finish. So two things now, the or, or several things. The electrode does not melt. The electrode is made of tungsten. There is a separate reel of filler wire coming and we will still have shielding gas. 
we will still have shielding gas right so in one way it will be very close to gas metal arc welding there the electrode was coming continuously through a wire so here we are not calling it electrode we are calling it filler wire but it is continuously coming from a spool so it is similar a shielding gas is also coming just like in gas metal a shielding gas is also coming so it is similar right the only thing is that the filler wire is coming from a separate spool and the electrode this time is not the filler wire the electrode is a tungsten electrode so this is it and let us see so this is the schematic of the uh, whole setup we have the machine ac dc welder type with lots of connections we have the inert gas supply the inert gas could be uh, any standard inert gas uh, sometimes it is even uh, carbon dioxide and then the cooling water supply the cooling water supply and therefore if the cooling water supply is there then there is a drain and this will be a loop a cycle and here is the welding here is the welding right so the welding torch is there the filler rod is coming from somewhere the work piece is here and there is a foot pedal this is just uh, that if you uh, want to suddenly disconnect you press here and it will be disconnected and so on so this is the whole setup right this is the whole setup and close to here close to here is all the details right so so this is the welding gun this is the welding gun this is the nozzle area and it will be moving of course it is start welding here and it is moving in that direction so here you see electrical conductor electrical conductor so that is just a wire to bring electricity but in the middle in the middle there is the tungsten electrode there is the tungsten electrode and then there is the shielding gas because shielding gas is also coming from fun source and here is the arc right so just the same thing but just that the filler rod the filler rod and so on is coming from one type of place one type of place and that filler rod that filler rod could be single piece single piece like in gas metal arc welding or it could be automated on, on a continuous basis but generally in gas tungsten arc welding this will be like doing manual arc welding so this is a filler wire but this is not the electrode the electricity is coming from there right so this is the filler wire like you do say in the gas welding right gas welding there was a filler wire right so sorry for that gas welding right so there is a filler wire here and the rest of the thing is going from there so the current is coming from there the arc will be there because of the current and the shielding gas is coming from there so the shielding gas and the electric arc are coming from there and the filler wire is from here and you do it like gas welding but of course at a very high temperature and so on and again as i said because now it will be manual now it will be manual this will be held in one hand by the welder this filler wire will be held in the other so now you are holding this at a particular angle you are holding this at a particular angle you are keeping this at a certain distance you are keeping this at a certain distance and you are moving both this and this at a constant speed right so again the uh, expertise of the welder has to be very good and welder who can do gtaw this tungsten inert gas right uh, i i am showing it here that earlier name is tig just like gmaw earlier name was meg so gtaw the old name is tig so gtaw gas tungsten arc welding or tig inert gas welding right so so for this also the welder should have more skill than a normal arc welder only then he will be qualified of course there will be standard tests and so on so he will be qualified to do this only if he has a higher level only if he has a higher level okay so this is gas tungsten arc welding or tungsten inert gas welding this is very different from all the previous arc weldings because the electrode is non consumable the tungsten will remain as a tungsten and for the material that is to be welded you will use the filler wire all the time okay